Welcome to another episode of Rust Admin Academy, where I teach you everything you need to know about owning and operating your own successful Rust server. If you haven't already, make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on notifications so that you get notified as soon as I upload a new tutorial. Okay, let's get right into it. So the purpose of this video is just simply to show you how to download and install a plugin, assuming that you already have Oxide installed on your server. So for this example, we're going to be downloading and installing timed execute. So we simply jump over to the UMod website and download whatever plugin it is that we're trying to deal with. In this case, it's timed execute. And once you hit download, it'll automatically download into your downloads folder. So now what do you do with that plugin now that you have it downloaded? Well, of course, we need to install it into our server. So this here should be what you see, whether you're looking at it through an FTP client or if you're doing a local host, or if you're with the many, many service providers out there that allow you access to the file manager for your server. This is basically what you should see. So we're gonna go inside the Oxide folder, and we're gonna go into the plugins folder, and we're just gonna simply, now you can either do drag and drop, or you can do copy, cut, paste, whatever works better for you. So I just did a copy, cut, paste, and we see that it has successfully installed onto our server. Once that's done, you never need to go back into this file again. You don't ever want to edit a CS file. The only edits you ever want to make are in the config folder or the data folder or the language folder. So if we just simply go up one folder, you can now see our config data and language folders. And this is where you can make your changes. So for example, let's go into the config folder and scroll down to time to execute. And we can double click on this file right here, which gives us the ability to edit how this plugin is going to perform on our server. Okay, that's it for this video. I just wanted to do a real quick tutorial on how to actually install step by step uh, the different plugins that you want to use on your server. So I'm going to be referencing this video in future tutorials so that you guys can quickly get back to this if you have any questions that aren't covered in the current video that you're watching. All right, so let's get on with the rest of the tutorials. Make sure you pick one of these videos right here and I'll teach you something else cool you can do with your servers. All right, I'll see you guys in the next one.